Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. The recent High Republic novel, Into the Dark, introduced Star Wars fans to my number one homeboy, the wild party animal, Geode. Geode was one of my favorite things about Into the Dark, and author Claudia Gray did a fantastic job with the character. There's been some ire among Star Wars fans regarding my homeboy, but I'm here to assure you that ire is totally undeserved. Geode is seriously dope, and was used in such a great way in Into the Dark, kinda like comedic relief. So, let's dive in and discuss everything we know about my man Geode at this time. Spoilers ahead for the High Republic novel, Into the Dark, so turn back now if you don't want anything spoiled. Hailing from the planet Vint, Geode was a Vintian male who acted as the navigator of the transport starship Vessel alongside the human pilot Leox Giazzi and co-pilot Afi Hollow during the High Republic era. At this time, my homeboy's date of birth is unknown, but we know he was born sometime before the events of Into the Dark, which took place in 232 BBY. As his name suggests, Geode's appearance resembled a tall, dark gray, flinty and flatty rock. Basically, our boy was a rock slab. According to Geode's co-pilot, Leox, Geode's true name could only be pronounced by those without a mouth. At some point prior to 232 BBY, Geode joined the Bind Guild, which was a guild of star pilots and navigators. Soon thereafter, Geode began to work with Leox and Affy on a regular basis, acting as a navigator for the vessel. According to Affy, Geode was typically shy before he got to know a being, whereas Leox described Geode as a wild man, except when it came to the business of navigation. At one point, while on Coruscant, Leox informed Affy that Geode was out hitting the clubs and that he had no idea as to when the Vintian would return to the vessel. Leox also commented that Geode was going to have to slow down one day. Party man, our boy was indeed. In 232 BBY, the Bind Guild was used to provide a replacement transport to pick up Jedi Padawan Wreath Silas, Jedi Knight Des Ryden, Jedi Master Comac Vitus, and the Jedi Wayseeker Orla Jarini. The vessel was tasked with taking the Jedi from Coruscant to Starlight Beacon out in the galactic frontier of the Outer Rim territories for the upcoming dedication and opening ceremony of the Beacon. While the vessel and those aboard traveled through hyperspace to Starlight Beacon, Leox noticed that something was wrong with hyperspace traffic, the directions in which other ships were traveling, and that hyperspace suddenly started becoming turbulent. The events of the Great Disaster soon took place as a different Bind Guild transport freighter, the Legacy Run, collided with something in hyperspace, resulting in debris of the transport freighter being propelled throughout hyperspace and eventually back into real space, causing widespread chaos and destruction to various planets and moons. The vessel was then struck by debris from the Legacy Run, prompting Leox to say in frustration he wished they had been hit by anything else, any damn rock out there in space, then quickly told Geode that he meant no offense, and Geode silently indicated that none was taken. After dropping out of hyperspace, all those aboard the vessel found themselves in a location far from civilization. To make make matters worse, the crew and passengers of the vessel soon discovered that hyperspace routes had been shut down galaxy-wide and that they were stuck. Luckily, those aboard the vessel, as well as several other spacecraft in the vicinity, found refuge aboard a space station built by the ancient Amaxines. Geode, Leox, Affy, and their Jedi travelers had to shelter on the Amaxine station with other space travelers for some time. As Geode and the Jedi became more familiar with one another, the seemingly odd Vintian became less and less odd and unfamiliar to the Jedi. As the events of Into the Dark played out, the crew and passengers of the vessel discovered and encountered a fierce, dark side presence on the Amaxine station and eventually encountered and found themselves going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a group of Nile and a contingent of Drengear. In the ensuing chaos and mayhem, Geode saved the Padawan, Wreath Silas's life, after Wreath opened an airlock in an attempt to expel the Nile and Drengear from the Amaxine station into outer space. As Wreath was in the midst of being sucked into the void of space himself, his body body collided with a solid and heavy object, preventing his almost certain demise. In Wreath's astonishment, it was none other than the king himself, Geode. As Leox had stated, Geode never knew when the hell to walk away from a fight. Following the conflict, Geode helped Orla Jarini with looking over starships that the Wayseeker was interested in purchasing. Although the Wayseeker hoped Geode would join her as a crew member, Geode's loyalty was to Leox, Affy, and that of the vessel. And there you have it. That's everything we know about my man, Geode. As previously 
previously mentioned, Geode was a fabulous addition to Into the Dark. Initially, I questioned what the hell was going on with the addition of a slab of rock as a character, but Claudia Gray was masterful in her utilization and story crafting when it came to Geode. The vitriol among Star Wars fans surrounding Geode is somewhat quizzical to me, so I hope that if you're unsure about Geode or reading Into the Dark, that you give both a chance and I think you won't be disappointed. But what do you guys think about Geode? And what are some of your favorite Geode moments? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.